Lexi Hayden. Lexi is our former intern. Are you tired of us saying that? Um, no, because it's it's a great part of my story that I love. Yeah, and it <laughs> gives us a reason to like bring you in. Like yeah. it's like I'm interested, right? Yeah. I think our listeners are interested, but you're also like a really good artist. And when you went on the show, we talked about it on the phone a little bit. It was called or it was pitched to you as what? MTV Music Video Project. That's it. Music video project. Yes. And uh, according to the other cast members, they got different names too, like the TikTok challenge or the TikTok show. So everyone kind of got a different name. I think they just didn't know what to call it. So what <laughs> I hear is that you went on and you were crushing it. And then out of nowhere, they kicked you off. And Ray says it's because you're country and they didn't know what to do with you. Uh, that's that's my thought. And also the show gets very dance heavy after I leave. So the third challenge that I left right before is um, based off of choreography and dancing. So it was more of like a huge relief for me than anything when I found out I didn't have to like be judged on my dance. <laughs> well, it makes sense and they kicked her off. Yeah. No, it, it makes total sense. Like oomsa, I'm. Oomsa, oomsa, Lexi yeah. hate oomsa, oomsa. I don't even know what I would have done. So I'm really glad that I did not have to do that. <laughs> we have featured Lexi on so many of the things that we've done. Uh, she had a show, that, uh, a song that was on the country top 30. It was a spotlight artist back on April 9th. Now, the name of that song was what? Pretty Damn Close. Now, have you heard? I don't curse at all. You can. <laughs> now, you can say that. But so I don't, I never get to say the name of your song because I don't say that word. Did I you know, know that? The, ki the kids I nanny also don't say that word. Mm -hmm. so, so what, what do they say? They but, call no, it see, Pretty Beep Close. Pretty beep. So you're, you're still hustling. I think a lot of people don't realize this because you're getting your song played on the radio. You're also out having to make money for rent, too. So you just said you nanny. Yes. How are you're playing shows and you're nannying? What's the balance there? You have to go from like a rock star to taking care of kids? No, it, yeah, it really is like that. Well, I, I nanny a few days a week, plus I do dog sitting, uh, and then I play gigs like three to four times a week. <laughs> I'm pretty much always working. Um, there's, there is no balance, actually, right now, but I'm hoping that changes soon. <laughs> what do you remember about interning here? Um, I remember it looked very different in here. Uh, I remember all the interns. We've grown up a lot. I've grown up a lot, and I remember being starstruck by every single celebrity that that walked in here, because that was so new to me. Do you I was remember so any celebrity that came in, and you're like, "Wow, that's so cool"? Uh, I think my favorite and most humble person that came in here was Eric Pasley. He was my favorite person. Have you been able to see him out at all? No, you know what? And I remember missing the you're day like, that I Sam Hunt. His kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, it, it it is like that sometimes, but no. Um, you I, saw Sam Hunt and I know I remember sleeping in the day Sam mm. Hunt came into the show, and I never forgot how I missed Sam Hunt being on here. You slept it, in and missed the show. Yeah. We we'll make a bit out of that. Uh, I don't know. Did you get punished? No, no, no. I was only I only had to be here three days a week, so you could like choose. You could come in all five days, or you could come in three days. And I was like, oh, I'm so tired. And then Sam Hunt showed up, and I was like, Lexi. What kind of ship was I running back yeah, then? Know, man. You can <laughs> choose when you come in. Doesn't sound like you. Wow. Okay. Are you there sure? There's too many of us. You sure weren't you were working for Big D and Bubba or something? No. <laughs> Over no. across the hall. <laughs> uh, Lexi Hayden has a song called Tequila for Two. Is this a new song? Yeah, it just came out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Today? It came out on um, Friday, April 8th. Okay, last Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like how she did the whole date. I liked it. Very nice. How, how often are you writing songs? Um, right now, I feel like I'm taking a little bit of a break just uh, with the TV show and with all the shows. Um, but typically when I'm in like a writing season, I'll probably write two to three days a week. Yeah. So if you're playing, sh like where do you play shows now? Like... <sighs> How do you play shows? Are you uh, are you doing like writers rounds? Are you getting paid to play at all? I'm typically just doing paid to play stuff at this point. I'll play the listening room um, a lot because they do pay, um, and I love that venue. I play the Nashville Palace um, almost every Wednesday, and then I'll play at Casa Rosa, Miranda Lambert's bar, mm -hmm. a lot of weekends, or Luke Bryan's just to make money, and it's great um, practice for performing. Like, what can you make a night? <sighs> really getting into the weeds here. Four hundred dollars. You can do four hundred wow. bucks a night. Broadway. So, what is your like your your calendar? Is every weekend booked out for you when you yeah. play these bars? Yeah, and I'll always be like, oh, I'm gonna have a chill weekend, and then someone will ask me to play a show. I'm like, okay, I'll do it. And then they'll ask me to play another. I'm like, okay, I'll, you know, I'm free. I'll do it. Like, so now I have like shows all weekend. <laughs> so I am doing two shows here in town on the 17th and 18th of June, and you say you make four hundred bucks a night. What if I take you off Broadway and I give you five hundred bucks a night? And you come and open my theater shows on the 17th and 18th. Are you serious? Yeah. And I'll pay you more than you normally make. <laughs> yes. You don't have to be at a bar. You can come and play to people that are, are they're coming for music comedy. 100%. Okay. This is better than making a pop star. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> so it'll be two shows, two shows, and for each show, I'll pay you five hundred dollars. Oh, that's amazing! My credit card bill is like, okay, you can pay me off. <laughs> June seventeenth and eighteenth. I have we haven't announced the shows yet. I haven't announced them, but this is kind of a semi-formal announcement. Um, are you committing to me right now? I'm committing to you right now because I get back from the beach on the fourteenth, so I got you. Okay, June seventeenth and eighteenth. You will be opening my comedy shows here in Nashville. Oh my gosh, where? Where are we for? Well, listen, we don't need to get into all the details now. I was just, when I was asking about how much you were making, I was not doing that because I'm just generally like, I wonder how. I was like, let me, whatever she's making, I'm going to pay her more. No, that was like the, the high end I gave you. Oh, well, you. now she tells me that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> See, that's how to negotiate right there. Yes. Good job. That's it. Okay, so I'm going to count you in. Yes, you can. You got me. Those dates do don't sleep in on okay. those days. No, come on. I was like so young then. Also, we had to be here very early. That, and well, also, she did here. have a choice. I, I did have a choice. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. again, you're right. Uh, by the way, you wrote, you co-wrote Priscilla Block's latest single, My Bar, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. Like As a writer, you've got a song that's being played. I mean, that's been the craziest, probably the craziest part of this year is that song. She just performed on the CMT Awards Monday night. You and wrote that. I wrote it, and she performed on the Kelly Clarkson show. I mean, she's touring, and it's it's about to break top 40, I think, fingers crossed, but it's number 43 on Country Radio. How did she, how did that get to her? I wrote it with her. Oh, you wrote it together? Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah. Well, that's how it would get to we her. We wrote it together <laughs> yeah. three years ago before she had not, she had nothing going on. I had nothing going on. We wrote it with her friend Stone Isley. We were just sitting in her living room, wrote it. Mm -hmm. Love it. You yeah. guys follow Lexi at Lexi Hayden, L E X I E H A Y D E N. And that's the deal. She's got new music out, so stream it. If you see her, go watch her. We're featuring her on Countdowns, and you're going to play two shows with me. Yay! I'm so excited. Love it. Well, I'm glad you came in. You know, you got robbed off the show. I, um, thank if, you. If I'm being completely transparent, never saw a single second of it, but I hear from Ray <laughs> that you got robbed. Ray, thank you so much for watching so, the show. <laughs> I, I give my support here. Okay? Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. I mean, anything for Lexi. You want to say anything to her? I'm just super proud of her. I'm excited. She does. It's like it's a, we witnessed her work so hard, and it, she's out here living the Nashville dream and yeah. showing others that it is it possible, takes... and you grind, and you work hard, so you deserve it. Thank you. Yeah. Lexi, thank, thank you. you, and we will see you soon, all right? And she's, oh, and. she's oh. great with... Uh, dogs and cats. And, if and you here's ever... her number to call her. If no, you no. Want to <laughs> have you ever fed our fish? No, I loved that segment though because I was like, nope, I haven't fed the fish. Yeah, so hey, don't. See, we, we no, no, no yeah, please don't. feed it. All right, there she is. Lexi Hayden, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.